Hi, welcome to this video. Oh, of course this trail's about this video is about the Oregon Trail. We'll uh, take off of uh, 84 and Baker and head up and up and up the hill to the uh, National Historic. National Historic Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. And it's the most awesome, incredible place I've ever seen. They have so much stuff going on and bring you truly on the trail with the people. So we uh, jump off of 84 here shortly. And you go up and up and up. So, we have a contest actually going in this video as we go up the hill. Count how many times you see Dad's fingers and leave it in the comments. And after the video has been up for one month, we'll pick a random person from the comments and send them a Frank paperweight. Custom made in dad's shop. And of course, once we get uh, inside the interpretive center, I'll uh, quiet down pretty good and let you enjoy the music and try and give you the experience that we had. Also, at what seems as the end of the video is actually the beginning of of mom's slideshow mom took a bunch of pictures while dad was shooting video and dad created a slideshow at the end of the video um, kind of slipped it in there as uh, bonus footage I guess So here we are at the entrance, and this is uh, this cute little wagon is to catch Dad's fingers there. Each time they show up in a frame, that's that's one. So keep counting. This seemed like a fun thing to do. Here we are inside. The uh, trail started in uh, Missouri and ended in the Willamette Valley. And of course at any point in time um, you should be able to pause the video and read any of the stuff that uh, I zoom in on there well that dad zooms in on if you ever saw the testing 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 video then uh, you'll know why dad Holds the camera and not me. Truly was very, very incredible how they had everything set up and how they just brought you right in and, and made you kind of kind of part of the trail, part of the part of the group going through and some of the uh, video screens they had going with what uh, stuff going on about you know what it was like back then it's really truly truly uh, incredible.
And please don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this video. We're, uh, we do videos like this every time we get a chance. Can you imagine being in a wagon and pulling up on top of a hill and seeing that out in front of you and knowing you have to cross those mountains you can see way off in the distance? It'll take you a week just to get to the mountains? Maybe more? really truly amazing how many things they had that you could touch and play with and open and look and this little wagon you could load your own wagon just like they had to in miniature the immigrants come from every state to fit up here all are securing preparations for the frontier and all are in a hurry 200 pounds of flour, 150 pounds of bacon, 20 pounds of sugar, and medicines to prevent us from taking the cholera. Daniel, mark me. You be careful. We have purchased oxen at $25 per yoke. They'll plunge into mud, swim over streams, dive into thickets, climb mountains, and eat most anything. May 20th. We formed a company of wagons, and I have been elected captain. Now, like a train, it's not organized. And these screens uh, with the videos going. Really, really wish we would have had time to sit down and, and watch that whole thing. The little bit we got to saw, see was really, really cool. Really uh, gave you an insight into what they were going through. You know, back in the day, back then. Are you still counting how many times you see the fingers? 
don't forget. Don't forget the contest. How many times do you see Dad's fingers? Well, in one month's time, we'll pick the uh, pick the person who got it right. A random drawing for a Frank paperweight. This fort model, you can't see it all that well through the glass, but it was really amazing. You, you could spend 10 or 15 minutes just looking at it. August 29th, we are in preparation to cross the river today. So I truly can't tell you enough if you have a chance. If you have an idea that you might be going by here, 
take the time to stop. It's worth ten times what they're asking. And we didn't even get to see all of it. There's a bunch of stuff outside we didn't get to see. It is definitely on our we must return here list when we have more time. Such an incredible place. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't look now, but back in the corner is a bobcat. See him hiding back there? I think he might be after that turkey. Cats do like to eat birds. Don't forget to pause the video if you want to uh, read any of the stuff, and that definitely works. Uh, oh, there's mom taking pictures, and those pictures she's taken are uh, in mom's slideshow at the end of the video. So definitely uh, stick around for that, and and. Uh, Keep your paw poised on the uh, on the pause button there, so you can uh, read some of the signs and and different little things about stuff. It's pretty awesome. Well worth your time. Does anybody have a count yet on the uh, how many times Dad's finger showed up? Those buildings down there are, are part of it too. They got kind of a little town going down there you can walk down and look at. And unfortunately, we just did not have time to get down there. We, uh, as usual, made an impromptu stop just to thought there might be something cool to share with everybody and. Turns out there was something really, really cool to share with everybody, so definitely leave a comment and uh, put a paw on the like button. Hey, Dad's, Dad's got a plane just like that in the shop. not sure if you'd be able to read the sign or not they had part of it covered up but this was a uh, a very very early form of a rock crusher it uh, would crush the uh, rock with gold in it and then they uh, get it all ground down and then they were able to get the gold out of it I guess so Very, very interesting.
come over to the gift shop here and see what that uh, what that looks like. Looks like they got all kinds of stuff. Lots and lots of books on the back wall and lots and lots of cute little critters that live in the area. That looks like it might be a cousin of mine. I said definitely share this share this video share the interpretive center put it on your bucket list it's a worthwhile thing for a bucket list for sure Let's go up and, uh, there are some, uh, wagons up on the hill. It's really, really windy out. As, as we walk around outside here, you'll be able to see the, uh, the plants moving and, and my fur going a little bit crazy in the wind. But even outside, they just have a ton of information and the lots and lots of cool stuff and best of all for me lots of stuff to sniff and pee on The views from up here were just absolutely something else. Seems like every direction you looked just went for miles and miles and miles and miles.
They had all these old wagons up there that, uh, I guess they were, according to the sign, they were most every type of wagon that was used in, in crossing, or I guess the most common ones or something like that. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So we're going to jump on the road here and uh, we'll leave you with uh, Mom's Slideshow. Mom's Slideshow is every bit as good as the video. She is running around taking pictures with... Uh... Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, Go ahead and paw that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers. She was running around taking pictures with her camera as we were uh, going through shooting video. So, here's Mom's slideshow, and uh, don't forget to stick upon that like button. I know I just told you at the end of the video, but it sure helps with uh, supporting the channel, so. We've got just a few minutes of slideshow here, and uh, Keep your hand by the pause button if you need to read something. Hopefully we got uh, stuff up where you can read it. A couple times the light. Ah, light. And reflections. Sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. So we're actually going to sign off here and say enjoy the slideshow and share this video. Don't forget about the contest. There's uh, none of dad's fingers in mom's pictures, so if you have to go back and watch the video again, count the fingers. The... Uh, Frank Paperweight is custom made by Dad with one of Dad's business cards and some leftover epoxy from a project. So, until the next video, thank you so very, very much for watching and supporting the channel, sharing the videos, leaving comments, sticking pause on that like button. Until next time, Cheers.
thank you so much for watching.